Hello loyal fans and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode we found out Bastila has indeed turned to the dark side and we rejected the dark side. In this episode we are going to take on the Star Forge. So cutscene galore, here we come. Oh! <laughs> Oopsie! Um, before we do all that, we need to head back to the hyperdrive and fix it ourselves because somehow this is needed to be done by, by me, someone who has no idea about hyperdrives. There. We received experience. Huzzah. Now let's get going to the Star Forge. No, this is it. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Carthanassi. We're receiving your transmission. Carth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith War effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. Yay! I can't even get our capital ships start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malik's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. Yay! He's alive! Jedi Knight has joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? We will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Wait. Wait, they have holograms with color in it. 
The ones from the movies have no color whatsoever, just blue. What's going on there? Star Wars, you're messed up. Oh, I still love the movies, all of them. Just the greatest movies ever. Now, let's continue on. And let's see, for the final time, hopefully, we shall choose our party members. Quit hitting the mic. Um, Carf and Jolie. Sorry, HK. You're still the best one, but you're gone. Oh yeah. You have you a bad made time. It. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. No! Come on, before they... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. Hey, how come you get unique robes? We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! I don't care about that. Why do you get unique robes? Why? Oh, we gotta level up Carve quickly. Good idea. Oh, I like that idea. Alright. Well, I suggest that, despite what the awesome rogue lady said, we should help him. Yes. Let's see if we can save all the Jedi. Save all the Jedi! I think I failed. No, I think we saved them all. Good job! Wait. Yep. Oh, <laughs> just barely, too. Here we go. We are on the Star Forge. There wasn't as many cutscenes as I thought there would be. Big doors. Really big doors. That means we are in a bad place. And multi-branching pathways. It really does not matter which way you choose. Lord Malak, a team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. How many of them Their are you? Have landed on the How many of them are you? This is not unexpected. The that? Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal with Yeah, them. wait, what? Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? He's got a point! Underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Release the hounds. Hounds have now been released. Wow, recolored. I have invaded the Star Force. Wow. Destroy them. Destroy them all. <laughs> Malik, you crazy. Wow, were we just standing there for like 10 minutes? <laughs> we were just standing there for like 10 minutes. What? What's going on there? Oh, now it's not completely stupid, but right now he sure is. Or not. And we'll just go and fry them all. Fry, fry, droid. Fry, fry, droid. Fry, fry, droid. I let them deal with it. Do -do 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 -do. Really intense music, big doors, evil red droids. I am in a bad place. And big explosions! Yay, big explosions! 
fourth wave, that should help. Or I could be stunned. That works too. Car! Where are you? Didn't think I'd be yelling for a car for a long time. Okay, fine. Oh, no, 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 no! Carf! Why? There. Oh, that's weird. Well, let's continue on to this big door. Nothing can go wrong. And nothing, I mean everything. Really? Oh, here we go. This should do it. Carp, you need to do this. And it, it does nothing. No close to grenades. Just lightening them up and where's Jolie? Thank you, Jolie. We need the purple lightsaber. And I'm all out of the floor. How does that even work? I have no idea. How do I run out of the floor? I could become tired, but... The floor should still be there. Oh, slice and dice, slice and dice. What else can I do? Um, yeah, I'm really, really into working on the movie right now. I even took a break to make this LP episode. But I... Yeah, I'm really working on the movie now. It's all coming together. Months and months later than what I was expecting, but it's all coming together. Hey, check it out, more Jedi fighting. Where'd they come from? Oh, uh, I guess it's more than one hanger. Why can't I have robes like that? They're not even robes, they're tunics. And the Sith are not even wearing robes, they're wearing jumpsuits with hoods. These Jedi sink. Oh no, don't do this. No, come on. This is way too easy. Fireware down. And down they go. Okay, they do have some pretty nice stuff on them, but... Uh, we're going this way, aren't we? I usually go this way. Oh, and I think you get a very rare, and I have no idea why they put this item in the game, but it's very useful. Nope, not here. Maybe it's on the group over there. Nope, it's just a really weird item. Be such late in the game. Um, no. Played the game, you know what I'm talking about. I think the item's on the guys over here. There we go, I should be using Force Wave. I'm light sided now. Yeah, right on their butt! You wanna get up? Nope. You want a chance to fight? Nope. Okay, it should be here. Here we go. Squad recovery stem. Never showed up beforehand in the game, and now it finally does show up at the very end when you really don't need it. That would be perfect for the beginning of the game. 
But no, this thing, it basically it heals up everybody. Which also doesn't make any sense. It's just late in the game and it makes no sense. I, I have no idea. That must have been a dummied out thing, but Bioware forgot to take it out of the last people. It actually would be very useful at the very beginning. Continuing on, only problem I have with Star Forge, it's a little too repetitive, but if you can get past that, this is a pretty good level. Especially with all the cutscenes. <laughs> the droids didn't work! Why have you disturbed me? They didn't work! I have news, Lord Marek, about the Jedi. They didn't work! The Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? No! Did they destroy our enemies? No! No, Lord Malik. The droids could not stop them. They're unstoppable. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the staff which is battle droids. If you say so. It was Revan, Lord Malik. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Star Forge. Yes. That would explain why the droids failed. Or you put a horrible Revan droids. Was Top Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan they? down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Star Forge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master would make an interesting test subject. I'm walking away for some reason. Even though I was perfectly fine right here. Yes, I know that I said I was going to tend to matters, but I could easily tend to them here. Let's continue on. Oh, I was going to say something. Oh, whatever, my character wants to die. Not what was I going to say? I, I'm trying to figure out what I was going to say. I'm just... What was I going to say? Oh, a print of Sis! Malik's had a print of Sis, that's weird. His, he only has one apprentice, so I don't know. Is that a glitch? You know, a bug that was forgot to take care of? No, no computer use. You don't need computer use. You're useless. Well, that was mean. I'm just a cruel person, aren't I? You know what? I'm going to also give him Force Storm. That'll be good for him. Gave the Bendo Force Storms. Bendos love Force Storms. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Yes. You know what? We're gonna go in as Jolie. Use the purple lightsaber. Oh yeah. And Jolie is now useless. No. And force lightning, and I don't know what to say right now. Oh, here comes more who wants to die. And now I'm all out of force. Again, I don't understand how. And... 
I'm very big and very dramatic, but yet I have no idea what's going on. Down you go! Oh, Karf. I don't know what to say right now. This is all very repetitive. And this is not even to the real repetitive stuff. This is actually pretty exciting. Let me think. I can talk about the movie. Uh, I have all the lines from the voice actors over YouTube. So that is very good. I can usually get the lines from my normal people. They're always around. There we go, now we're done. Let's check out the remains of this one just for the fun of it. Because by this point, you're not going to need most of these remains. Oh, here comes the torture. Remember when I said beforehand that there's two places to grind. One place in Tatooine. This? Oh, they found the second wave. <laughs> this is the second place, right up ahead of ourselves. And the less Sith Troopers. I'm a jerk. I'm going to let them die. Yeah, this is it. As soon as I cross that line, which I accidentally did, those turrets are going to first chew me up, and then over here, a bunch of Sith, or Sith guards, whatever, are going to keep on coming after me. Now I'm not even telling myself to do anything. I'll just wait. Hopefully, if I stand here and do nothing, nothing will happen. I hate my life so much. Run! Run like a wimp! Now we just simply stand here and watch, because I feel like it. Oh, Joey is about to go down. Hey, 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 that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Here we go. I don't want to die, that'd be awful. Jolie, we're going to need your help. Oh, I should use the force here. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, we got it. We're all healed. Just hit. Just stop it. Never too old for this. And continue on fighting. And down they all go. Okay, I. Wait, there are they still going? Uh, now I'm just getting whiny. Come on. I don't want to help fight them. I'm just waiting for them to finish up whatever they're doing, then I can end off the episode.
can't tell I have horrible frame rate at the moment for some reason or whatever and I don't want to be moving around making worse. Which is why I'm standing here waiting for them to finish it off. Oh, down go... No. Oh, someone saw me. Oh, good job, Carf. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, wait, I do like Carf. Purple versus red, who will win? Of course, purple. This is fun, actually. I know you guys must be really bored, but I'm actually enjoying watching this. Okay, next time on Star Wars Night Shield Republic, we shall continue.